Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about the residual stress. So you know about uh, residual stress. It is the internal stress which is present inside the material even if we are not applying any kind of external stress. Then also some kind of internal stress is there. So that may be because of difference in cooling while casting. It may be also during forging process also difference of temperature. Because difference of temperature leads to difference of uh, dilation. Basically the contraction or expansion. So that ultimately leads to presence of residual stresses. And if you see uh, the residual stresses vary from the surface to the bulk. Okay. So uh, and this residual stress whatever the residual stress it is like suppose on the surface it is compressive or tensile whatever it is so how can we know that it is really compressive or tensile what is the method to uh, measure this one so one of the standard method here i want to discuss is the whole drill method right guys This is a very standard method and it has been used since long back. So in the whole drill method what we do basically suppose this is a material and we want to measure the residual stress on the surface and one thing you remember that this whole drill method can uh, measure the residual stress up to some depth. Okay. Because we can't go up to uh, complete inside the material, uh, it measures up to certain depth. So here what we do, we make a small hole using the arrangement as shown over here. Right? So this is the arrangement. So here you can see this is tripod like a structure. Okay. So this is the base where we fix the complete setup and you, if you see here this is a gauge to control depth right. through which we control the depth up to what depth we need to drill it okay and this is a long cylinder where a driller is set a driller of say suppose 1 mm dia is set over here and and a strain gauge is there if you see here at the bottom this is a strain gauge which is shown over here right so this strain gauge is fixed on the material like here this is the strain gauge which is fixed right in the strain gauge you can see these are some electronic this is an electronic device basically so what happens the uh, whenever the drilling takes place so whenever this drilling takes place and when we remove the drill then what happens due to the internal stresses it can either contract or expand depending on the type of residual stress right if it will be tensile then it will pull apart okay if it will be compressive then it will join try to join means the diameter will reduce so what happens whenever there is a relaxation some kind of relaxation whether it contracts or expands so basically this also expands this arrangement right this is something like a piezo is a piezoelectric material so whenever this expands or contracts then what happens in turn it generates some electrical signals right and this electrical signal is taken to this amplifier where we amplify this signal and we convert this signal into some kind of strain right. so there is a standard formula i will not go into the formula because that is a, a big chapter over here. so the basic principle is that whenever we are doing a hole so what happens due to the compressive or residual stresses there is some kind of movement of this material and this movement of material will move this piezoelectric material right and this in turn provide a electrical signal 
and that will basically produce some kind of electrical signal and that will be used to measure the strain as through this method we measure the strain and using the strain value we convert this strain into stress right we have the elastic property like elasticity we know so using this method we convert uh, this strain into stress and we give a value so this is the normal method which i have discussed now uh, look at the video in the end i have put one video also the uh, uh, process where the drilling is taking place okay so through that you can imagine or you can basically see that how this drilling takes place okay so just see the video